Even traces of diesel are enough to pollute wide areas of soil or entire bodies of water, whether it leaks from a tank or is swept out in floodwaters. But this wadding can help. It soaks up the fuel within seconds. And the wadding continues to float conveniently on the surface even when it's saturated. It makes the diesel easy to mop up and leaves little residue. You shouldn't necessarily drink this water right now because there could still be traces left in it, but it could be recycled through a water treatment plant for industrial use without any problem. The Doirex oil wadding was actually created by chance. The Saxony-based company normally produces waxes and solvents for industry. But during the production process, a mistake caused the machinery to extrude an unplanned substance, a wax in the form of wadding. The developers quickly realized that the unexpected material had a very special fibrous structure. It has very impressive absorbent characteristics, and when it absorbs oil, the material clumps and it can be handled very easily. A kilo of it can absorb roughly six and a half liters of oil, so I don't need much of it at all. The NGO One Earth, One Ocean has tested the new wadding in Nigeria. Oil often leaks straight from badly maintained pipelines into the soil there. And tease it out, and oil is coming out. And you do this, a little bit this, and you put it again, you can, so you can use it. The wadding has caught the eye of multinational oil corporations. Environmentalist Günther Bonin also sees a growing market for it in Germany. It offers economic advantages over granulate oil absorbents. I can use it on a polluted surface, say a lake with an oil coating, and then afterwards retrieve it, squeeze it out and use it again. That's why it's ingenious, because I can reuse it over and over. In countries like Nigeria, we've developed or converted special presses that are able to wring out up to 300 liters of oil. The company's wadding is already regularly deployed in Germany. The country's Coast Guard uses it as do fire brigades during flooding events. Depending on where it's to be used, the wadding can be integrated into different forms. Sometimes cushion-shaped absorbers are most effective. In other circumstances, tubes might be a better choice. It's extremely important because when oil is floating down a river, you can't just dump the material on it because then you have no more control over it. You have to approach things in the light of the operational requirement and make things like barriers, for instance, out of floating tubes. Or if a diesel tanker breaks down on the road and fuel is leaking out, you might have to plug up drains. Or if there's some spillage at a company, a cloth form might be best to wipe the oil up quickly and effectively. So an unintended production mistake has turned into a big boon for the environment. Doirex now exports its oil absorbent wadding to 14 countries in all, among them Israel, Indonesia and the United States.